What up, air signs? Welcome to your May reading. Starting off with Gemini. What I have is the Four of Chalices. What I'm saying is that someone could be offering you something. That could be a gift, a job opportunity, or like even just like an apology. I feel like where you are right now, even if it's not you, it could also be the other person, but I'm just going to say you, but where you are right now, I feel like you could be like down on yourself, you could be depressed, you could be feeling sorry for yourself, you could be feeling bad. But it's like someone's offering you that attention. <laughs> They're offering you attention. Mm. For your second card, I have the Three of Cups. So someone could be offering you like an internship or like an opportunity for you to like um, get in a relationship. It could be a polyamorous relationship, but I feel like there's like two other people that like are wanting you like to get involved. Like it's not something that you like have to work for or like have to like do like a lot of hard work for i feel like you're already there you just need to like address these people or like it could be a third party situation where like someone wants to include you maybe like you have like two or three other romantic options and like they and like you probably you're probably not feeling like very attractive or you're not feeling like you're the shit, but then it's like you have these other three people here that are looking at you like, yo, this person's the shit, like, I want to date you, like, I want to be with you, but that's one thing that, you see this guy right there, is all depressed, like, he's not able to see because he's not looking up, like, this person, like, offering them the cup, so it could be a relationship that someone's offering you. I'm, I'm mainly getting the relationship vibes here, especially with the Queen of Vessels with the Salmon, because, like, when Salmon's, when they're ready to die, when it's at the end of their life, like, they'll, they'll swim upstream against the Resistance, and bears would just grab them and eat them, like, it's basically a free meal, pretty much. Yeah, there's plenty of fish out in the sea, but you want the fish that's jumping on your boat. You don't want to go out there looking for fishes that you have to, like, throw the reel and then, like, wait hours to catch. You want the fish that is jumping right on your boat, that even if they have to swim upstream to get you, like, they're doing it. You want the person that's persistent, that's, like, actually, like, willing to invest the time and energy into you. I feel like that's one thing that you're missing out on. Like, maybe you've, like, asked out people already, and you've gotten rejected, and, like, even though you've gotten rejected, there's still someone there that likes you. I feel like this is just, like, a... Kind of, like, um, maybe that person could be a little bit shy. You know how, like, sometimes, like, people are too shy to, like, go up and approach the person that they like. Well, like, this person could also be, like, very shy, and then, like, they're working up the courage to, like, actually ask you out, but then it's, like, because you've already been through, like, these, um, breakups or, like, rejection, and it's, like, uh, what's the point anymore? It's, like, I keep getting rejected, but it's, like, this person is going to, like, start offering this cup for you, and it's, like... You never had to do all the hard work. You never had to do all the figuring out. Like, that person was already there. They're already ready to swim upstream to, like, jump onto your boat. But what you needed to do was just, like, actually recognize that. You didn't have to do all of that. All right. Thank you for watching, Gemini. Now moving on to Libra. Starting off, I have the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so looking at this this card and just like the other cards that are following it with the Three of Pentacles, Will of Fortune Reverse, the Devil, especially this card, and the Seven of Bows Clearance, I'm seeing just focus on your craft, focus on you, and nothing bad will happen. Because I feel like someone's going to be on some bullshit, like, just real talk. I feel like 
someone, the devil, whoever this is that's coming back up in your past, whoever this is that wants to, like, drag you along, that wants to bring you down, that wants to put you on these fucking chains and leave you, like, stuck so that you're in a codependent relationship with them and that things are going bad so that they can steal all your energy. No. Not that off, Libra. Have some self-respect for yourself and, like, love yourself enough not to be tempted by the devil. Yeah, you'll get what you want, but you'll lose a lot of energy in the process. And when you lose that energy, more bad things will happen. So you'll get less of what you want. Well, you'll be cut off from that energy momentarily. You never really lose the energy if you want to like keep absorbing like that positive energy. Like You can create it on your own, but there are devils out there that would like to take energy from other people. And you staying focused on your craft, whether that's your career, your job, a hobby like painting, music, just mind your own business for the rest of May and like just focus on that because like the devil is going to try to tempt you. By the devil, it doesn't have to be like the Christian like satanic devil. I I'm meaning is by that person that always wants to like string you along and put you on these chains so that they can have you like on a display case right here like on hold until they're ready to hit you up again so that they can take off the chains you get that momentary freedom that quick hit of dopamine and it's like it's not worth it clear yourself surround yourself with like some actual good people some people that aren't going to exploit your talents or abilities I feel like you need to be in a community. I'm getting, like, an apartment kind of home or apartment complex. So, like, if you're living in an apartment and, like, there's people around you that you've probably walked by, probably nodded at, probably, like, waved at, like, and you just felt, like, a really good connection there, I feel like some of those people are, like, actually good. Like, try to, like, get to know them. But, of course, it's all about the feelings, like... It's all about the feelings, like, when you're working on your craft and you're staying focused on that, now I feel like these people will come and, like, they'll help uh, cleanse you of, like, any kind of energy that the devil has over you, any kind of hold that um, this devil energy has over you. I'm also keeping, I'm also getting keep things simple. So if you have a lot of friends, just keep the friendship simple. If it's complicated, then... It shouldn't be. Friendship should be simple. I like you. You like me. Let's hang out. Let's do A, B, and C together. I share with you. You share with me. I have your back. You have my back. Equal reciprocation. You have your own definition of what you would consider a friend, but whoever it is that like meets those requirements or like that okay i'm kind of rambling a bit but you, i'm sure you get what i'm saying know who to trust know who to give your energy to because some people just want to take it all right so thank you for watching libra now moving on to aquarius starting off i have the emperor shoot that big dick energy <laughs> shoot Look at you with that emperor type energy. Focusing on your goals, getting all those abundance of resources around. Fucking making that money. Yeah, I feel like I've already explained it, like, within <laughs> just my little ramble of just talking shit. Like, you already have those things. Like, you have that, like, emperor energy where, like, you just feel strong and confident. I say big dick energy because it's, like, you just expect someone like that to be, like, yeah, I'm macho. Yeah, I can do... Basically, like, the mask. <laughs> the guy with the green mask that is, like, a cartoon character. Pretty much like him. But without all the explosions and stuff. I mean, if you can do that, that's cool. But, you know, you get what I'm saying. That Chad energy. Alright, so like next card I have the Seven of Pentacles. So you're pretty you're feeling pretty confident about your resources. So like whether that's like you being able to like manifest like more money into your life, being able to 
uh, manifest like um, opportunities into your life. I see like you have you feel like you have more than enough to fill your cup. All right, there could be someone like that's that's trying to oppose that. Let let me look at this card a little bit more. Yeah. Someone that acts like a brat, or someone that just wants to spend it, or someone that doesn't even think about what they're doing. Yeah, I'm getting that type of energy, like, someone that's, like, I don't want to say, like, emotion driven. I'm getting more so, like, it's kind of like an insecurity, or, like, someone that's, that doesn't really think about, like, too much about what they're doing. Let's just say, like, if they have a... If they're in a bad mood, like, and then, like, one of their friends, like, greets them, then, like, they'll just lash out at their friend and then, like, apologize, like, a day or two later, like, not that that, not that that's a bad thing if it happens once, but the kind of person that will do it again and again and again and again and then just keep apologizing about it but won't make a change I feel like that type of energy whether that's you or someone else like I feel like that would be the type of energy that will ruin the resources for you ruin what you have going for yourself yeah someone wants to just be taken care of Also, this could also mean, like, make sure that you're making firm decisions. Like, when it comes with your finances or, like, how you want to distribute your money. Like, if you have all seven of these pentacles right here. And, like, let's just say, like, one of the pentacles is enough for you to, like, get your basic needs met. And then two pentacles is, like, you get whatever you want. Now you have the entire seven of them. Well, if you're going to give away one of these pentacles, make sure you're not giving it away to a brat and make sure you're giving it away to someone that wants to become like the emperor that wants that's going to make the most of it. There's nothing wrong with sharing, but you don't want to share with people that aren't going to appreciate it. I'm also getting joy for the three of vessels, your final card. Throw a party. That's what I'm getting. Just go ahead and throw a party. Shit, enough said. Go throw a party. Have some fun. Use one of these coins to relax. It's the weekend. It's Saturday. Go have some fun, Aquarius. You've earned it. You deserved it. You're the emperor. If you spend a little money, splurge a little. If you do whatever it is to go and have some fun, nothing bad is going to happen. I mean, unless you make something bad happen, but yeah, go and have some fun. You have that emperor in energy. All right, that's all I have for you, Aquarius. Thank you for watching. Deuces.